what's up YouTube welcome back to my channel uh, well today we are going to learn how can you add tags in your stock photos like you can upload like you can add tags to a single image and that single image can be uploaded to 10 different websites we you don't have to you know uh, keep on tagging that particular image again and again on each and every website now few of my friends they have started a uh, stock photography they have started uploading the pictures but then this was a uh, uh, kind of a, a problem which they were facing uh, in order to tag each and every image every single time when they are uploading on six different websites or five different websites so I thought of making this video in order to understand how can you do it simply uh, in a simple manner and you can just add tags once and you can upload the same image on 10 different websites you do not have to uh, every time add a, a single like multiple tags on that particular image so for the ones who do not know what are tags tags are the words the keywords rather uh, through which a particular user can search your image like for instance if I tell you this image over here uh, it's a potted plant as you can see over here it's a potted plant the whenever user clicks on let's say I want to search for an image of vegetables fresh vegetables so these are the keywords these are known as tags through which I can go ahead and you know search your images now the the uh, photographer who has uploaded these images they have added these tags like fresh and vegetables are the words the keywords they have used and they have added on their images in order to get found on uh, the stock photo websites so I am just quickly going to show you how you can do it there is a free software uh, which you can install on your uh, laptop the name is xpix here is the home screen you simply have to search for xpix now uh, do not get confused about the spelling it is x p i k s not x p i c s so you might as well note it down uh, the moment you click on like you search for xpix this is the link you will have to uh, click upon and you land up on this page through this page you can download the software it's free to download and uh, you can install it on your system it, uh, this software doesn't require the internet uh, for running on your desktop but definitely when you are when you are actually uh, adding the tags as you can see you will need the internet in order to search the similar images uh, you will get to know what I'm talking about but before that I would like to uh, make an appeal if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel as I keep on making uh, such videos which are which which will help you understand technology in a simple manner and which will help you you know gaining passive income and stuff like that also I make videos about social media marketing and digital marketing so stay tuned for more uh, if you have not pressed on the bell icon you might as well uh, consider clicking on that as well without any further delay let's get started guys so here we are mm. I've already installed the software on my system and this is how the look and feel of the software will look uh, what you have to do is after installing the software you just need to add files like I already have a couple of images which I have uh, added on my system let me just show you so these are the images which I have captured from my uh, mobile phone this is just for the demonstration purpose so I'm gonna show you the images uh, that's right you can actually sell the images on uh, any particular stock or uh, uh, photo website which have been captured through your mobile phone I have already uh, written a detailed blog about uh, how can you sell your images on five different websites which are my five different websites that pay me the highest amount or uh, you can check out that on my uh, blog there's a link I have added in the description below so these are the images which I am going to actually rename right now uh, let me just add those images so you need to click on these add files the moment you click on add files you will have to upload the images which you want to tag 
so I have selected both of them and I'm just going to click on open it's importing the images the software is a bit slow but trust me it would save you a lot of time like for instance when I started a uh, stock photography I used to take at least you know like to upload 100 images I used to take like maybe six seven hours but with this software it has decreased my uh, time right like it has decreased my time uh, you can say 50 percent it has brought me to three hours or two hours to you know like just upload 100 to 200 images at once so that becomes a really simple trick um, so what is the description which I want to add like you need to just type the description let me say Mumbai local railway train transport um, now make sure whenever you're adding the description and the title you can just you know like uh, express the image as much as possible as many elements which are men mentioned in your email you meant you try and mention that in your title and description that would help the uh, the buyers to uh, explore and search your image and discover your image in that particular manner so as I can see over here there is a Mumbai local railway train or uh, transport or rather let's let me just change Mumbai local train um halted on station let's say um, stopped on station um with passengers standing in the compartment And uh, the title, the description can be as long as you can uh, write uh, the title. Again, I'm going to just as is a demonstration video, I am just going to copy and paste the title the same way. You can keep the title and the description the same uh, 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 as each other. That is not going to be a problem as far as you know, all the elements are covered in your image. Uh, now, when you say keywords, now this is the tricky part and this is the most useful part now you cannot just you know keep on adding tags like for example you add Mumbai and then you click enter it would take a lot of time you you can actually you maximum uh, tags you can add on any particular stock website is 50 but every time writing those you know 50 words and pressing an enter it is just tiring so what I'm gonna do is I'm just simply going to click on suggest keywords now the moment you click on suggest keywords you will see a, a, a interface like this I would go ahead and type here as Mumbai train or Mumbai local train and hit on enter you can see that there is a drop down over here when you are uploading the images it can be images photos vectors illustrations it can differ as per that now here you can see these are different images which are uploaded on Adobe stock as you can see over here I have selected Adobe stock so these are the different images of Mumbai local trains which other contributors have uploaded on their accounts on Adobe stock but what if I, I don't want like there, there are times when you know you will type certain keywords and they won't uh, pop up on a certain stock photography website so you need to figure out what could be like for example Shutterstock is the biggest market you can get it is always suggested like it's my personal experience that I would I would go ahead and you know uh, try and figure out the images which are tagged on Shutterstock because that is more helpful uh, Shutterstock being the biggest of them all it it just gives you more variety and you know it would be like it's just easy I can't I can just define that way but then it's just easy like you can say like Mumbai local train was not listed on Shutterstock but wherever you find the the relevant keywords is where you can actually select the drop down I don't know why uh, it generally shows 
Getty images as well over here but I think this is the this is the latest version I have downloaded so let me just go ahead and click on Adobe stock itself now you need to select while select, selecting the uh, keyword you need to select the image which is matching the most to your particular image now let's say this image is the same angle as my image let me just show you my image once again so this is my image it's this similar angle which we have here but as you can see this is not a local train this is like a good strain or something like that the local train is over here now click on that as you can see there are only 25 tags which are added and the maximum which are allowed for us to use are 50 so what I'm gonna do is I have clicked already on this particular image I will select another image or uh, let me just see if I can find a local train image if not I mean that is the last uh, resort you can go ahead and just simply click on this similar one but before that just try and search you are getting some similar image um, this is again no so there is no local train image which has been mentioned here uh, so I'm just gonna click on this one as well now the moment I clicked on this particular image you can see that automatically the tags have been uh, added to 45 the total amount of tags which are added on my image are 45 earlier they were 25 if you again click on this image those tags will disappear those are the you know extra 20 tags which are added from this particular image so um, it might keep on differing uh, but yeah that is how you add more and more tags now simply click on add suggested and close so as you can see there are already uh, some 39 tags I'm sorry not 45 39 tags which are added already so this saves a lot of time now in case if you want to add more tags you can add it or uh, let me say you know Mumbai local so what happens is sometimes if the tags are colliding with each other they would like subtract as well instead of for example if this image has 20 and this image has 25 tags if there are some similar tags which are mentioned in this image they will get subtracted when you add this image or uh, let me see if I have another that's a sketch so I cannot add this image but maybe this is a train um, no but if I add these 45 then those particular tags would be like they would uh, we would reach the we would cross the maximum amount of keywords so I don't want to do that I would just keep it as 45 and that is all I would keep that 39 tags I'm okay with that if in case you want to add additional tags you can add over here like the color is purple so that purple central railway central is one word when you're adding the tags manually make sure you uh, press enter rather than you know space because when you click on end when you press enter that is when your keyword would be counted space is not going to help it's enter you'll have to click now as you see there is a different uh, like I've already typed central over here and again if I click on central it doesn't get added so this way you can avoid the duplication of uh, keywords uh, let me just yeah so this is the second image which I'm going to see how can I go ahead and you know name this uh, so this is an image which I actually clicked uh, just few days back through my Oppo Reno 10x zoom and this is actually quite a zoomed version this is not the uh, actual shot but for the demonstration I just thought of you know showing you guys how you can upload it now you can see the pink flowers green leaves and trees and this was a um, spring season so let me just go ahead and add that uh, pink flowers on trees during spring season this is the same thing I'm going to copy and paste because I do not my I personally don't like to you know waste a lot of uh, time in uh, naming the images and stuff like that so this is a quick way you can save a lot of time um, another thing I noticed just now it's 
uh, there is a spelling error over here so this spelling would not get uploaded you can just remove this that's it and suggest keywords again I'm gonna click on suggest keywords it's a similar way you can ping flowers on trees let's see whether we have some image similar to this um, I think this is a good image it just gives me 11 tags though yeah this is an image which might add uh, let me see another one no so this is a trick guys if you like for example if you see now if I if I delete this if I remove this particular uh, image from the keywording part it says 39 and if I remove this one it says 37 so all I'm getting is two keywords from this image yeah, it might differ. This is acting a bit weird, but as of now, I have clicked on this particular image and it gives me 42 tags. So as you can see, these are cherry blossom, hanami, pink, nature, flower, spring, sakura, april, spring, uh, awakening and stuff like that. So these are all related keywords. Again, it will give you other uh, suggested keywords. So if you want to add them, you can add them as well. Flower garden. Uh, botanical no these two are not related so I'm just going to say add suggested and again close so as you see I have added these keywords for this uh, image I have 44 tags and this image I have 41 tag now the next part is exporting this image that means getting this particular uh, tags added directly on your images and exporting them how you do that there is a simple way now right now I have only two images but there might be a scenario when you have you know like a hundred or two hundred ones so either if you have like uh, less images you can click them one by one but generally what I do is I click on this drop down over here and you click on modified so it will automatically select the ones you have modified today as you see the both got selected and you just click on this download button save now um, this is again a tricky part backup each file you do not want to backup each file until and unless you want your images you know you want separate files for these particular images which are not with the keywords or title or description but uh, honestly when you're uploading the images anywhere you do not need the simple images without the titles and the descriptions or the tags that is not going to help at all so do not, I, I would suggest not to click on this backup each file because that's just useless and that would just increase, you know, uh, I'm sorry, that would just eat up the space on your system. So, and click on start export. So once you have exported uh, the images, they automatically get, get saved on the same particular uh, folder where you have saved your images already. Now just go on the same uh, uh, folder again and as you can see just hover on this image you'll be able to see that there is cherry blossom there are tags which are being added okay there is a title there is uh, which is being added to your image and all you know dimensions and stuff like that over here similarly you can see tags which are added for this one as well so now you can just go ahead and simply upload these two images on number of websites you want maybe it be four or six or ten how many other websites you want and you will not have to rename them or you know add tags every time you upload those images uh, on any particular stock website well this was my video about how to add tags in a simple manner it's a quick and easy way i use for all my images to you know add tags on my images it saves a lot of time please let me know how did you find this video if you if you uh, like this video if it helped you please click on the subscribe button and might as well you know um, consider clicking on the bell icon i keep on making uh, these kind of videos which will help you learn technology or gain own passive income and stuff like that um, I will be back with another video, another tip and trick for you guys. Till then, keep geeking.